Hey guys, welcome back to Colson Scooters. I'm Colson Smith, and today's video, we're gonna be heading to Aquashella in Daytona 2023. We're gonna have so much fun there, and I can't wait. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I already know we're gonna be getting some pretty cool corals there, so make sure you guys stay tuned in to see what corals we actually ended up picking up. Finally here, we got in early thanks to Top Shelf Aquatics again. Huge shout out to them. We're gonna go see their booth real quick. Um, and I'll, yeah, let's go there first, so. I've heard this show has got some pretty cool stuff. We're gonna go over and see some of like the reptiles and stuff like that first. Um, we already checked out the top shelf and then I'll show you all the rest of the salt water. Um, but I've heard there's some pretty cool stuff so we're gonna try to go over there before it all like kind of sells out. I've always wanted one of these. How you get one? Tree python. Yeah. Do have a cable? I do, yeah. They're also $650, so. And then we got this huge enclosure here. Look at that, the tortoises. Oh, those are cool. We got some cool monitors over here. A thrilled dragon, I've never even heard of that. All these are cool bearded dragons. What's in here? Chinese water dragon. I see his little tail. Uh, this guy's pretty active. Uh, sulfur monitor, pretty sick. Around a little bit, hey boy. Yeah, he he is. Is. We got the shark tank over here. We got a horn shark. Um, looks like another horn shark, and then uh, some sort of sweet lips in here. Oh, and there's a stingray in here as well. Pretty cool. All right, so let's go see some more of the reptiles and things like that. We have some cool axolotls here. I have one of these. So cool. Bro, they even got like a bangle type or a cat. Wow. Pretty cool. There's another one over there. And there's a monkey in here too somewhere. Pretty cool. I got the skull with the coral growing over it, like the burning banana. Got some seahorses and a sea apple in here, and then we got the confiscated enemies. Kind of unfortunate that they're not swimming in the anemones, but you know. Oh 
we got some different, uh, this is going to be third place for the uh, golden shrimp. We got second place in here, and then third place in here, first place is right here. Look at how cool these are. I've never really gotten into shrimp, but they're pretty cool. Those are cool. First place is right here. Oh, wow. That is so cool. So friendly. Yeah, he does. He's just staring yeah, us down. How big do they get? About the size of a regular cat, so 10 to 15 pounds. They just get bulkier, so they just get like stockier. How old is that one? Four months. Four months? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we've gone through pretty much most of the. Whoa, I just zoomed in. Alright, we've gone through most of pretty much all of the reptiles. Now we're gonna go ahead and check out the rest of the salt water. Um, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, here we go. Something last night in your sleep Smiling on your face like you wouldn't believe I think I see some changes in your energy Is that, is that fake? <laughs> yeah. No, it's real. No, it's real. No, it's not. Yes, it yeah. is. Actually, it's Japanese deep water enemy. Are you what? serious? What is it? Uh, Japanese deep water enemy. That is so uh, cool. Oh, not, oh, not. How much are they? 350. He's just completely messing with us and it's fake. Are they hard to that get? That literally looks fake. No, they're hard to get. Are they hard yeah. to take care of though? I've had about five months. Yeah. Oh yeah. For me, it looks badass. Absolutely. The glitters and everything on it. Um, those are released from Lewis Reef, and I'm the only one who has it in town. If anybody likes it or anybody wants it, just go to lewisreef.com and let me know. Yep. 
Absolutely stunning. I've never seen anything like it. All right, it's kind of dark over here, but we've pretty much picked out all the coral we like, uh, and we kind of showed the entire show. So now it's time to go home, and I'll show you guys the coral at home and putting them in the tank as well. We'll go ahead and dip in and do that whole process. So you ready, Dad? I'm ready. We got an hour drive home. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop open all of these corals. Um, and we're gonna put them in the container here so we can give them a good dip. Uh, we did actually get some cool free ones too, so I'm gonna kind of go through and show you all the corals we got. I'm just gonna name some of them real quick while we're putting them in. Obviously, we're not gonna dip this guy, but we got a pretty bleached uh, rock flower, but my dad does really well with rock flowers. You can actually see in the front of his tank two massive ones, but probably the biggest rock flowers I've ever seen. Um, so he does fairly well, I could say, with rock flowers. Um, so I think he'll be able to take that back. Um, I got this really, these really cool zoas. Uh, I can't remember the name of these ones, so I'll have to get back to you on that. Um, but I'll probably pop it up on the screen. And then these are the uh, Little Shop of Horror Zoas. I got those for a pretty good steal as well. Um, this was a Walt Disney frag my dad got. This was a My Miami Chalice. Uh, this one is probably one of my favorites. Is a huge, nice, like pink and green Ghani. Um, that one was a steal. That one was only like 50 bucks. Then we got uh, this shout out to uh, Lewis Reef. He actually gave me this uh, free Ghani which was pretty cool. And then this was also from Lewis Reef, which is this insane Favia um, that was just absolutely stunning. I had to pick it up just because I've never seen anything like it before. And then this was actually a free chalice I got. We got some free uh, frags as well. I don't even remember what those were. And even more free frags. They were giving away a lot of free frags, which seemed weird to me. Um, then we got an A can. And I believe that was it. So we're gonna go ahead and pop all of those into here besides the rock flower and get them dipped. But my conscience is jumping. It's steady, bump, bump, bumping, bump, bumping, bump, bumping. I'm feeling quite redundant, but I can see you fronting from Brooklyn to London. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use Coral RX. It's always the coral dip I end up using. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just put a couple of drops in here. Um, I usually just do a smell test to see um, how much to add in there, but I would recommend to use the instructions to see how much to add. Um, I've just been doing it for a pretty long time at work. We do it all the time, so I just kind of know how much to put in. We're gonna go ahead and let them sit for about five minutes in this and just kind of base them off as they sit in it, just in case there is anything on these corals and it'll help take that off. All right, so I got all the corals dipped. I went ahead and put them in a new container with new fresh clean water. Um, and kind of turkey basted them off as well. I didn't see anything come off of them, which is a good sign. But we're gonna start putting in some of the corals that are going into my dad's tank first, um, just because my dad's tank's right here. He did some fragging, so he kind of cleared off his frag rack. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of it on the frag racks and some of it in here. All right, first things first is gonna be this really cool Ghani that we only got for 50 bucks. It's green, but it actually has pink tips to it. So I'll definitely get some footage when it comes out and opens up. Now we're taking the Walt Disney out. I'm gonna put it on the frag rack for now. Uh, kind of let it encrust more onto the plug with all these other newer frags that he fragged from his tank before we find a spot for it in the tank. But that's definitely a piece that you've been looking for for a while, so I'm glad we got it. Super Next cheap. thing is this A can that he got for real cheap. Go ahead and add that to the tank as well. And obviously, I'm going to get shots of all of these corals when they're opened up and look nice and happy here in like a couple hours. Give them a little bit. But um, put, where are you putting that? I'm thinking about turning this into an A can garden. An A can garden? garden? That'd be Eventually. cool. Eventually. Yeah, unfortunately, he lost all of those like crazy bounce mushrooms he had down here, the bounce yumas, which really sucks because they were really cool. But yeah, there's the new A can. Next is going to be this crazy My Miami Chalice. Nothing like too fancy, but we only got it for $20. And look at that. I mean, we can cut we it. Not beat two. that for 20 bucks. I'll cut it right there, and that's two. Nah, let it grow out. It of looks course. like it was freshly yeah. cut. Oh, yeah. That's definitely one of my favorites, and for $20, you really cannot beat that at all. All right, now we got this freebie. I actually don't know what it is here. Put it under the light. So if you know what this is, it's let me know. Garf it's not bonsai. something crazy, but it was free, so you can't really beat that, I guess. And we're gonna put that up here on the frag rack as well. I don't wanna- And I'll get some better anything. footage of it too. All right, so now, man, that's loud. Now we got this rock flower that's a little bleached out. We're gonna attempt to put it here and see if it'll stay. Um, but if you don't know, rock flowers will actually move around the tank. Uh, so we don't know if it'll actually stay there or not, but we're gonna try our best to see if it'll stay like in that little groove right there. You know the, or, lab, the or last down there. one we Which tried one? is right under here. Oh. Yeah, so obviously they didn't really work that well, but take two maybe? I don't know, should we not even try? Should we try? We might as well this? try it. Oh wow, look at the coloring. Yeah, it actually looks really good. 
All right, so the tank is super cloudy and the corals are kind of all closed up because I had to move them around and I had to raise my salinity because it was a little bit low. Uh, so that's why it looks a little cloudy. We're going ahead and add the corals into the tank. So first things first is going to be the Fabia. All right, so this is probably one of the ones I'm most excited about. Um, it just looks like a green Fabia right now. Uh, but just wait and see later in the video and you'll be actually surprised at how awesome that Favia actually is. Next is going to be the Ghani that I got for free from the same people from the uh, with the Favia. So we're going to go ahead and put him on the other side so he doesn't get stung. Next is going to be this uh, kind of gold chalice. It's actually pretty cool that I got oh, for wow. free. Freaking clownfish are trying to eat me, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that next to the Ghani. Next is gonna be these two Zoas that I got. Uh, one was a little shop of horrors, and the other one, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll have to show you them when they're opened up, because they're pretty cool. And last but not least, we're gonna add this other free SPS piece that I got. This was the same as the one in my dad's tank, and I'm still not sure what it is exactly. So if you guys know, let me know down in the comment. All right, it's actually been a full day since I put the corals in the tanks. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how they look opened up in the 150 and in my 10 gallon. Alrighty guys, with that being said, that's gonna wrap today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. Also comment down below what coral you think we got that was the best, like your favorite. Till next time, peace.